I've never loved living anywhere more, and I've lived in a lot of cities. In their new hometown of Seattle, Tish and Greg Lemley can walk around without constantly being asked, what's playing? But in Los Angeles, as we learn in the documentary Only in Theaters, the Lemley name is synonymous with art house movies. The theater business for a while just did nothing but make money. For more than 80 years, their family-owned chain, often the only place to screen foreign and independent films. The Lemley theaters have always been a bastion of that great art. When we meet Greg in the film, it's 2019, and he's considering selling the theater chain that bears the family name. We're starting to see red ink on the books, which is not something we had been used to. And uh, as is detailed in the film, we began, uh, you know, looking at the possibility of selling, you know, a family business which had been around for 80 plus years through three generations. At the time, streaming services are the biggest adversary, and Greg decides to hold on to the business. Then, three months later, movie theaters will be closed to the public. The pandemic shuts down the family business for more than a year. He, uh, it was, it was awful and that the best I could do is just try to be there for him. Only in Theaters is the story of a family trying to survive a series of seismic shifts in their industry. The Lemleys may live in Seattle, but they still run the LA-based chain, and they see a future for movie theaters that offer more than superheroes and sequels. You know, the indie bookstores are still around and the vinyl record stores are still around. If anything's gonna survive with movie going, it's ultimately gonna be the indie movie theaters. It's going to take some time, but I think we're coming back.